Good morning, Woodside. Are you ready to celebrate? Let's talk about the more than $436,000 you gave to COVID-19 relief and the over 3,800 essential care kits provided for our neighborhoods in need. Or how about in the wake of Hurricane Ida, we sent $10,000 to hurricane relief efforts. And as we geared up for back to school, we handed out over 3,500 backpacks across 15 under-resourced communities. If you think about it, that's over $100,000 in school supplies. And that's not all. This Mother's Day, we stood for the sanctity of life when you gave over $23,000 to mothers in need through our pregnancy resource partners. And when devastation hit Haiti and Afghanistan, our church family answered the call and gave over $70,000 to those who desperately needed it. And don't forget that despite the pandemic, Woodside's partnership with Bijou from the Timothy Initiative meant that over 300 churches were planted, more than 1,600 church planters were trained, and upwards of 7,000 people gave their life to Christ in India this year alone. Isn't it amazing to see the way that God is at work in our communities? I'm Matt Mancinelli, our Director of Stewardship here at Woodside, and I'm here today to tell you that everything we just celebrated was fully funded by you. I want to thank you for partnering with us to demonstrate the compassionate love of Christ to our neighbors here and around the globe. As we give out of what God's given to us, we're living out our mission of helping people belong to Christ, grow in Christ, and reach the world for Christ. And we know that God has even greater things ahead. So I invite you to stay tuned as in the coming months we share where we believe God is calling us as a church. And today, I hope that you can see what a difference it makes when you give to God's work here at Woodside. Through His grace and your faithful giving, we've met critical needs, upheld the sanctity of life, planted churches across the globe, and much, much more. So thank you for living generously as we see lives changed by the hope and message of Jesus. And remember, the best is yet to come.